नमस्कार स्टूडेंट्स यू आर वाचिंग ट्यूटोरियल ए आई सी आई संजय परमार वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन माय चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रैक्टिकल एक्टिविटीज फॉर आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस क्लास नाइन्थ सो हियर आई हैव गिवन सम एक्टिविटीज टू माय स्टूडेंट्स टू क्लास नाइन फॉर देयर प्रैक्टिकल रिकॉर्ड सो वॉट आर दोज एक्टिविटीज एंड हाउ कैन you submit this activity or if you are teacher then how you can ask for these activities so watch this video completely and understand which type of activity you can conduct for artificial intelligence class 9th so here we are going to start it so first of all you open google and search for my blog that is tutorial ai cs ip then type colon artificial intelligence artificial intelligence so when you type this you will get the link of ai article which i have written on my website so this is the first link click on this when you click on this you will get the contents which i have written for my students to prepare for artificial intelligence so here three topics i have written till now i have completed excite relate purpose because we are getting only one period in a week so that much content is not prepared because we have to take other class we have to look out for some other work also so that's why this much i have prepared whatever i am preparing for my students i am just uploading on this website so they are getting the access and you can also access this easily so here you can see i have completed these all topics now today we are going to discuss about practical activities which is part of this three topics introduction to ai the ai games and ai domains so all of these activities are considered by these practicals okay so let me begin so click on this link practical activities when you click on this it will render the page for practical activities so here it is so let me begin here i have given six activities from those topics so the first one activity introduction to ai in this basically we are giving the introduction and we are introducing the artificial intelligence so what we can ask to students or students what you can prepare you can take one a4 sheet and how do you think artificial intelligence can help you as you go about your daily life prepare one mind map chart and write your ideas also mind map chart that means that is one thing how this is going to help us in our daily life if we are using amazon there also ai is used if we are using google assistant if we are using google emails gmail in gmail also spam filter is there that is part of ai google maps it is showing us the path of the road you we can go anywhere we can find out the distance and we can take a regular path or perfect path for our shortest route also so that all are the part of ai how ai is helping you that you have to make one mind map in your life suppose if we from starting our day to going to bed so that you have to write here so that you can prepare one mind map or how ai is helping you suppose you are giving order you are watching youtube videos so how those videos are coming on to your youtube channel how these videos are coming to other device so that you can prepare how ai is working there so material requires a4 size chart size and sketch pen so that that is easily available with you so you can prepare it and then take a photo and submit to the picture via email that you can send or you can send by whatsapp also but in whatsapp sometimes that record because i have to maintain the record that's why i cannot keep proper record when you are sending with whatsapp because in whatsapp there are so many groups there are so many messages coming daily so sometimes it can be ignored so better you send it via email so i can keep it with me for the record activity 2 here the dream smart home so here one idea is given in your textbook also if you have read the textbook in our google meet session also i have discussed so a home is a dream of every human imagine and prepare a rough layout of your 
dream smart home this home contains automated roofs walls surfaces windows doors etc you can add whatever facility you need like a swimming pool gym drawing room bedroom kitchen study room hobby room indoor outdoor garden etc it includes the following smart lights can be switch on off dim or glow according to your behavior and requirements means in our home we can see that sometimes we are using this lights at full brightness sometimes we need it should be dim sometimes we need it should be off like that so that time should be recorded and like that you can prepare something smart lights this light is for this this light for that like that then smart vacuum cleaners can be clean the home smartly without any intervention so that also you can prepare smart vacuum cleaners how it can be help in the smart home then smart locks smart locks for security purpose that can be opened by your fingers that can be opened by your sensor your face or face recognition we can say eye recognition that kind of technique you can uh, make it should be art integrated activity so that all you can also do the art integration in this type of projects then last one is smart remote controls remote controls for appliances like ac geyser etc so here ac and geyser they are working on the temperature so that temperature can be set automatically I means suppose uh, in the morning you need such type of temperature in the evening you need such type of temperature when winter is going on you need the hot water so that time the temperature should be different in summer that should be the different temperature for your geyser for your water so that you can set according to the remote controls so that could be reflected in your project whenever you are submitting so that rough layout you prepare it and cl click the photo of the chart and send via email now let we move ahead activity 3 games games are very important part of our life some games are useful for our mental development as well as physical development as well as for entertainment every game has its own rules follow the given links and play the games that i have already created those post on my ai page that you can see how to play and all and here also i have provided the link how you can play these games so these all games you have to play then prepare one report okay so what point you can include in your report write answers of these questions in game 1 rock paper scissors how the machine reacts when you make moves in a specific pattern how machine is reacting second make moves randomly when you are making the moves randomly how the system is responding and what do you learn from this game the most important task is what do you learn when you are playing this game what do you learn that you have to reflect in your project so if you are enjoying this video hit the like button and share with your friends also in game 2 find our basic characteristics of animals by asking questions like for a fish can you swim can you live outside water etc what did you understand from this game so this is the game mystery animal so from that uh, suppose if you are asking to a fish then you can like ask like this can you swim then the machine will respond can you live outside water okay can you live outside water so that question can be asked so any question you can ask in that particular mystery animals so whatever requirements are there and what tools are required everything i have explained in this post you just click on this you will get the idea about that so click on this and you was that you read that particular notes then game 3 that is emo, emoji scavenger hunt it is optional because it requires camera if you do not have laptop because it is not working in mobile also so if you want to play this game you need laptop with camera so if you do not have laptop with camera you can ignore this one no problem it is optional so if you are playing this greek game then draw your own emoji on the paper and show it to the machine what problems did you face while playing this game can you resolve them how so this you can learn from this machine so you just prepare your own imagination emoji you just imagine and draw it and then show to the in front of camera of your laptop and then write answers in your notebook and send the pictures via email activity 4 reflect and analyze take three different color strands and work them into a bread see how long your bread can become within 30 seconds material required three different colored strand and 
thread of 50 centimeter each. Right answer of these questions, how you can relate it with three domains of AI. When you are making a bread, what you learn, how it works. So these two answers you have to write. So take help of those activity and what are the three domains of AI and then you can relate this particular activity with the three domains of AI. That is data, computer vision and natural NLP. Activity 5. Activity 5 is quiz that will be sent to your WhatsApp group. The quiz link, Google form link, I will send you for that purpose. Activity 6, write a letter email to your future self. So that you can write a letter or email. What point you can include? Write one letter or email to your future. What you want to see in the future or what you want to want remind to your future. Just imagine about the next 10 years and what you are thinking about your future. Relate with AI. The following points can be included in letter email. Start with your interest, hobbies and skills. Then now relate how AI can help you. Suppose your hobby is writing. So in writing how AI will help you. When you type such letters, what type of article you need for the research. That should come. So that type of activity you can include. Suppose you, your, your hobby is reading and you are searching such articles. So how AI can help you in uh, providing that particular thing. And we, if we talk about the job, the future job. So in future job, whatever role you have dream, right now you are dreaming, that you can write. And how AI can impact in that particular role, that you can reflect in your later. So write about your future job or career you want to pursue and how AI will make an impact on that, that you have to write. So you, if you have already written a letter, take the picture and send via email or you can include those all point in your email also directly and write one email. So I hope you are now clear about two practical activities and practical file. These ideas can be included in your practical files. So you send these photos to me, I will prepare your practical file because at home you, if you cannot do so that I will keep this record at one place and whenever it is required we can make it a permanent record for your practical work. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you are coming to my channel first time, watching my video first time, subscribe the channel and press the bell notification icon to get notified. Even if you want notes for this particular subject, you can subscribe this website also. Here you can provide your email ID and click on subscribe. After that you will receive one email. Just you click on that email, whatever link is provided there, you will be subscribed to my blog. So provide your email ID and join this. 457 members already joined. You also join this and subscribe to my blog for new updates. Thank you very much once again. Keep watching, keep learning.